The suspended manual football coach and his twin brother and assistant coach are both under investigation by LMPD. WDRB investigates reporter Valerie Chin has been digging into this story and uncovers what was found in JCPS files. Suspended manual football coach Donnie Stoner was just indicted by a Jefferson County grand jury. He's charged with six counts of rape, six counts of sodomy, and eight counts of sexual abuse. Let me tell you this, these allegations are so serious. Donnie was in court on Monday. The Commonwealth's Attorney's Office says Stoner engaged in criminal sexual conduct with a minor between May 30th and July 13th of this year. He's worked, um, obviously, uh, uh, coaching for, for years and years, uh, more than a decade. Uh, he, uh, uh, until this allegation, this accusation, which he denies. JCPS has now reassigned Donnie to the Wilhoit bus compound. I understand that JCPS has given him his due process and has at least given him that. I think JCPS should understand the nature of these offenses and they that do. if he has but HIP, so if he has HIP, then maybe perhaps his employer will be leaning with that job. So Meanwhile, WDRB obtained two confidential JCPS investigations into Donnie's twin brother, Ronnie Stoner. Last week, JCPS reassigned Ronnie from his duties as a safety administrator at Manual. He's now working at the Blue Lick bus compound. The district says Ronnie was an unpaid manual assistant football coach. LMPD says there is an active investigation into him, but is not releasing details. In May of 2022, JCPS says it learned of an allegation from the 2016-17 school year. A new middle school student accused Ronnie Stoner of having sex with her. Ronnie denied that. In the end, JCPS concluded that the allegation was unsubstantiated and said the only evidence provided was the original complaint and investigators weren't able to interview the girl despite multiple requests. LMPD says its investigation cited insufficient evidence. And back in 2014, Ronnie was accused of making inappropriate sexual comments to a female Fern Creek High School student. In the end, JCPS found the allegation to be inconclusive. With photojournalist Stuart Hammer, Valerie Chen, WDRB News.